So now consider example two. So in the previous example, we decided that that binomial distribution was not a suitable model for the data. Um, but it might have been a case that another binomial was suitable. We might have just got the value of P wrong. So we can retry the test, but with a different value of P. And um, we can use our data to estimate our value of P. Note this will change the number of degrees of freedom to so look out for that. So again, we're testing whether a binomial is suitable or not suitable. To work out our p-value, um, as I mentioned before, you can use this formula, or if you prefer, you can just work out the mean of your uh, values and then divide through by n, okay? Um, so this r times f all over 100 summed is equivalent to the mean for the table of values you had and then divide through by five, which is your n value. Either way, you get an estimated p-value of 0 0.398. Uh, because you estimated p, there will now be two constraints to the problem which will affect our degrees of freedom. We need to recalculate all of our expecteds by using the binomial distribution which you can do, you can set up on your calculator to do in a table. So we work out our expecteds and then we perform the hypotheses test for goodness of fit again. So we look at any um, combining any cells we need to combine. So we have um, these last two need to be combined because the last one is less than lower than five. So we just need to combine those two cells, which uh, we've done here. The others are all fine. Um, and then we can work out our goodness of fit statistic. So that comes out to be 7.22. Our critical region, three degrees of freedom this time. So note five cells, but we subtract two because we estimated P over here. So that's what you've got to look out for. Just reduce your degrees of freedom by one if you estimate it. Okay, uh, and then um, we've got our observed goodness of fit statistic versus our critical region and it's less than our critical region. So we do not reject, which supports the idea that a binomial distribution with a p-value of 0 0.398 is a suitable model uh, for this scenario. Okay, so similar example to the previous one, except that we had to estimate p this time, which just changes the uh, degrees of freedom um, aspect and um, obviously we had to work out slightly different expected values with a different value for the peak.